Hello there, today we are going to make a super fast wet bag. And for this wet bag you need one piece of pull and just one long continuous piece. This particular one I believe is 16 by 35 or 36. It's just a scrap that I had laying around. And the way this bag is going to work is that the pull will go like this. So the bottom will not be sewn at all. And then folds up at the top with a zipper in there. And I already took the liberty of making a strap. All I did was take another little skinny piece of pull and, you know, fold it, make a strap, pull it through so that that's ready to go. So you've got your long continuous piece and the first thing that we are going to do is it doesn't really matter which side you pick to do first. Just pick one of them and you are going to put the fabric side facing down on your zipper. And if you like to pin, be my guest. I do not like to pin, so I don't. And I am going to replace the foot on my machine to my zipper foot. And again, just pick any side, put it the fabric side down, shiny side up, onto the zipper. Got to get this pull out of the way. So I'm going to pull it down and see what I'm doing. So again, fabric side, shiny side. The fabric side is down to the opposite side of the zipper. Here's the whole zipper. I'm going not for the close side, but for the far side. And line this up under your zipper foot so that you can get as close as you can to those teeth. Let me do a few stitches and I'll show you. So you're sewing as close as you can to the little teeth of the zipper. Now this will stretch just because it, you're using the sticky side up. I do have a little Teflon tape onto my zipper foot which helps. Some people like to use um, either deodorant here or baby powder here or a Teflon foot like I'm using or a little bit of tissue paper. You can put tissue paper over top and sew and then rip it off. But I just stop, always readjust, lift up the presser foot to let the tension off. Now that I've sewn enough, I'm going to go ahead and zip my zipper back up so that it's out of the way from the bottom. If you're wondering to yourself, do I really need a zipper foot? The answer is yes, you really do. Most machines come with one, but if yours didn't, go ahead and get one. It will really make things so much easier. Okay, 
because what the zipper foot does is it's a little bit taller here on this side so it allows that path of the zipper to come underneath and not hit so yeah it really makes a difference now I'm going to keep my zipper foot on and cut off my threads and it was like this now I'm going to flip it so that I'm looking at the fabric side and sew it down Give it a good even top stitch here. about a third of the way done already. Go ahead and cut off your extra string on this side. You've got the zipper on and this piece is loose. Once again you are going to take the fabric side on the actual zipper with the shiny side facing up. So once you've grasped it like that the way it's supposed to be and you're going to flip the bag inside out essentially. So that the rest of the bag isn't in the way. So shiny side up against the opposite side of the zipper. Okay, I'm getting to the end where the pull of my zipper is and I want to get that out of the way. So I'm going to pause and pull it to the back. off your extra and make sure your threads are lined up the way they're supposed to be and now flip it back the right side out so that we already did the top stitch on this side now we need to do the top stitch on this side and you can see that the two sides kind of stretched unevenly that's okay we'll deal with that when we Go ahead and sew it shut.
keep your hands underneath to make sure that you're not sewing any extra part of the bag shut. out from under there and we are done with the zipper foot at this time so I'm going to cut off my extra strings and take off my zipper foot and put back on my regular foot okay we've turned the bag inside out and go ahead and kind of eyeball where you want that zipper to go height wise. You want it to be pretty near the top with maybe just like two inches. And since I am doing a handle in mine, I need to figure out where my handle is going to go as well. And I'm going to fold it and stick it to the inside of the bag, which is really going to end up being the outside of the bag. And leave it with just a little bit hanging out. And this one I'm going to go ahead and pin in place. Because I don't want my handle sneaking out on me here. And then really all you're going to do is just sew up the two sides. You want to make sure that you get it because of the way my pull stretched I'm going to have some discard off on this side. That's all right. I want to line it up. You see this little end of the zipper here? That's where I want to go. right through that and then straight on down Go ahead and cut off the extra that you had from this side. Okay. And this side is the side that has a zipper pull. I don't want to get that in the way, so I'm going to open the zipper a little bit. And 
and just hold the zipper in place where it needs to go. Now this one, you don't want the zipper to slide down from you here. So you really want to hold it in place so that when you're finished, it stays closed. Okay, I made it through the zipper part, which is good. Now once again you want to cut off the little bit of extra. Now noticed here on the zipper I made sure that these two little metal pieces were together and I sewed just on the outside, like immediately on the outside of those two metal pieces. Thankfully, you left the zipper open a little bit so that you can get in there and open it more so that you can fit your hand inside and turn it right side out. Poke out the corners. You can see how nice the zipper looks there because you sewed it nicely at the top. And there's the other side with the metal endings right at the edge. And we've got this lovely long strap. All I'm going to do is add some snaps so that I can snap it into a loop. And we'll be done. And yes, the zipper is a little bit wavy because of the stretch. And you know what? That's okay. You're going to stuff this thing full of diapers anyway. It's not going to spend much time laying flat. But it looks really nice there at the ends. Good job.